thought at 40 I would Good actually stuff. like my butt better than I did when I was 20. Um, I was you supposed to be training. You left your um, hat on the floor. Huh? You left your hat on the floor. Did I? All that dirty talk just kept me going. <laughs> So I've just arrived in Hollywood. I'm going for my weekly session of cryotherapy and ultrasound cavitation in Cinch Clinic. Uh, Cinch actually wrote to me, mm, let me say it was last year sometime and asked me did I want to come in for some cryotherapy and cryotherapy is actually a fat freezing treatment. So what they do is they blow liquid nitrogen onto an area, a problem area, and it freezes the fat cells and then your liver metabolizes them and then your liver, your body passes the fat cells out. Um, the results are absolutely incredible but unfortunately I had just finished my last round of competitions whenever they contacted me so I said not last not um last year it wouldn't have worked for me but this year I would definitely love to try it so this year just before my competition whenever I started prepping I contacted them and I said I'm definitely going to come in for a weekly session of cryotherapy and they also said to do this other fat freezing treatment which is ultrasound cavitation which actually kills off and actually zaps fat cells fat cells I think they said that it makes them explode and that just sounded very exciting to me um because I mean although I don't have a lot of fat to lose my problem area that I where I would struggle to lose body fat from would be my glutes and also just that little line underneath my glutes. I've always had that little sausage bit just underneath my glutes, which I know a lot of women struggle with. And that's always been the area that I've hated. It's always been the area that stopped my hamstrings from coming out on stage when I'm doing my back pose, because I just am naturally a very pear, very much a pear shaped. So I carry a lot of my weight on the lower part of my body. So I've been having these treatments. This is my fifth treatment today. And I have to say this week is the first week that I have noticed that that little lump, that little, you know, mound of skin or that little sausage of fat just underneath my butt cheek. Yesterday, I noticed that it was actually slightly wrinkly, which means that the fat has really reduced in it. And there's actually just skin there now. And that made me really excited because even last year, whenever I was really lean for competition, I just didn't lose the fat that I wanted to lose on the back of my thighs. It's a very hard area for women to lose fat from. The great thing about it is, that once you lose the fat from a certain area it never really goes back on again so once I lost the fat from my stomach you know that little bit of belly fat that mums get after they've had kids it never went back on again so I'm excited to finally lose this fat on the backs of my legs and since you're definitely helping me to do this um, so I'm going to go and have the treatment today and I just thought I'd bring you guys with me to let you see um, what it's all about because I get loads and loads of questions about this so um, let's head to the clinic now and I'll, I'll share the treatment with you and I'll show you exactly what happens one heart to survive when one just breaks One slow suicide Hi! Hi. How are you? So good, already. Good, already. Good, already. so this is Emma who's going to be doing the treatment today um, I just basically lie here for the next 45 minutes and Emma does her magic You just come here to get all your fat sculpted and frozen and blasted out of your body Yeah your phone's gonna be ringing off the hook now, Emma. <laughs> and it feels nice. It's, it's a nice sensation. There's no pain involved or anything. No, it's lovely. Hey, it's amazing. The subtle games that you are playing. This isn't cold. I mean, it isn't. It is. It is cold, but it's not unpleasantly cold. It's not painful. Um, a lot of people ask me, is it, you know, is it painful to get done or, and I'm like, no, not in slightest. It just feels like someone blowing cold air on you. That's just the only way it's I can like describe it. like a cold it. mist. Okay, yeah, like a cold yeah, mist. Just, That's exactly what it's like, like a yeah. mist. Yeah. It's, um, it's and not, it's actually quite refreshing, I think. And yes, it is. It is. Um, Responsive. We don't, I don't work calves ever. Oh, okay. They're not something that they're looked for in bikini. Okay. So I never train calves, they're never sore. My quads right. though. Oh, right. I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's quite, um, abs, calves and abs. Right. They don't, they don't look for them in bikini at all. Yeah. You don't get marked on them. I'm marked down if you have abs. 
Oh, really? Yeah, if you have a six pack, they mark you down. But the six pack is usually just comes from having very low body fat. They don't want you to be too low for okay. bikini. Right. So if you have an invisible six pack, you'll get marked down for it or just moved up a category. If they think you're too muscular, they'll just move you up. Oh my goodness, okay, right. So no striations, no vascularity, visible vascularity, you know, uh -huh. no veins, you know, popping out anywhere. Uh -huh. um, because, they could, you know, I could actually do a, a more muscular class than mine if I wanted to, but mm -hmm. uh, the only difference between me and say the next class up isn't really muscle size, it's condition. Right. Condition is how ripped you are, how right. low body fat you are. Right. So if I was to get down to really low percentages of body fat, I could move up a class easily. Okay. But I don't want to. Yeah. So like, I don't want to look too muscular and ripped. So we're just going to get um, measured now because we haven't actually measured. This is my fifth treatment and we measured on the first treatment. And um, now we're going to measure all of the different areas again just to see how many inches I have lost. <laughs> Very exciting. I have such low body fat anyway, like I'm only about 14, 14% at the minute. So any, you know, any fat loss, I'm not going to lose like six, in six inches. Any lot of fat that I lose is going to be kind of minimal. It's going to be maybe half an inch or an inch or, you know, an inch and three quarters as it was the first time. It's never yeah. going to be a huge amount of inches. Exactly. So you have lost two inches. Two inches since yes. I started? Yeah. Very good. So two inches since I started, yeah. which is two inches overall. Yes. So kind of an inch on each leg. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. Which is fantastic! Is it what? Okay, thanks. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful week. We're just going to go to the gym now. Um, we're not going to train hamstrings and glutes because my hamstrings and glutes are still sore from Tuesday. So we're going to train some back. Um, and then it's home for Champagne Friday because what else are you supposed to do on a Friday is drink Champagne. So we're just here training back today. Um, today is normally glutes and hamstrings, but because my glutes and hamstrings are destroyed from my training session on Tuesday, decided to give them a, a miss today. I'm going to train some back because I missed back this week. So today instead of lat pull downs, so we're doing the Nautilus lat pull down, which has a different angle, different action. You can make it a glute grip, you can make it a wide grip. Um, underhand, grip. underhand grip. I also feel that it kind of, because I'm not pulling down, pulling back, it actually gets deeper. It's like a row stroke pull Yeah, like a row stroke pull down. I don't mind back today, but like, I'm not good. You don't mind back I can't day. even hardly sit down. Like you say you get every exercise on. I don't mind the lap pull downs, yeah. but I don't like this one. I don't like the T-bar row. I quite like this bad boy here. Well, that's right. So we're going for two out of five. Yeah, yeah. two out of five. I'm okay with two out of five. That's cool. Because you don't like the close grip either at the end. No, no, I don't like the close grip. Um, do you know what? I don't like anything close grip. I mustn't be strong in close grips, whereas I'm stronger on the lap pull downs. That's the thing, you know. Yeah, I just find it difficult. Let's go. Yes. 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 Good. Good. Back. And that's a three. Up and squeeze. Ten. Four. Five. Six. <laughs> Seven. Come on. Eight. Nine. One more. Easy. Good. Well, that was easy enough. It's when it gets heavier, I don't like it. <laughs> Just think of it as Mark's special brand of love. Yeah, that's it, that's it. On the hack Scott? Yeah, <laughs> you get you get one or two warnings and you have to go three warnings. Yeah, you the fucking machine down so if you're on the bottom. Go lower! <laughs> More. Ah! Light weights, let's go. Last one, the right, yeah. More. And the squeeze. That's it. Let's go. Good. One. One, ten as well, two, easy, three, good, keep going. Come on, again, 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 up, 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 that's it, well done. I was going to say five more. Right, that's it. I was actually going to go for five more. Fifteen more. But you didn't tell me five more, so I decided not to. We'll do a quadruple drop set then. Yeah. Let's go. Delta, I'm like, oh, talk dirty, dirty. <laughs> 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 I'm like, fuck you, Ralph, later, she's still going. And then I can't 
talk about. Just here. Mark, Mark sometimes goes all oh, the detail, and I'm like, oh, oh, does things to me. An illustrations detail. Rep diced. He said to me one day, diced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello there. Yeah.